Hey, this is Intermodal Trucker. My name is Larry, and it is March 28th, 2018. It is 6.40 p.m. I am in Kenosha, and ready to roll. So a couple more minutes of on duty. I just got done doing it when we walk around. I guess there is some kind of top secret uh, state trooper. I'm going to pull you over and check your equipment thing going on in Illinois. <laughs> I always love those. I really do. They always come out. They, they make some announcement and stuff. We're going to do a Spiratic uh, brake check on June 24th through the 27th. <laughs> well, somebody, you know, they, they act like, like this is a big thing and stuff. They're going to surprise everyone, but then they make an announcement. <laughs> it's like, eh, okay. So, getting going for the night here. I got to run over to APL Logistics. Pleasant Prairie. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Pick up a load over here. Not really sure what's going on. I've never been here before. And grab that one. And after that, they have me going. That's going to be delivering to Enestoni. And then they have me going from NS Stoning up to Cicero and grabbing an empty trailer. And then after that, <clears throat> they have me going up to Nina, picking up a load. At Miller Electric. And I'm gonna picking up a load there and running that back on down. Don't know what rail, but that one's gonna be ending up going to Fort Worth, Texas. So I like these loads. Um, they're all pre-loaded up and everything. You just go in there and grab the trailer out of the place. Don't have to talk to anybody. Don't have to do nothing. So I like them. I like them a lot. And that's about it. <clears throat> there we go. Got all roped down and ready to go. Uh, what else is going on? Really nothing. What is today? Today's Wednesday, so this is my Thursday evening. So I got tonight and tomorrow night. So a couple more nights and time to go home. Other than that, we're gonna head on out and get get rolling. See ya. I believe that I'm supposed to pull in here and pull over to the side. like this. That's what I believe I'm supposed to do. Alrighty. I guess I did correctly. I was here once, a long time ago, I think. I think I just dropped an empty trailer in here. But he said that what I'm supposed to do is drop it in spot 24 on this here wall, which should be right in here somewhere. Right there. And then head on to the shipping office. So that's what we'll do there. Yup, yup. Yahi.
got a slide of tandems. And there is no, ring that bell. There is no uh, curb here, so you gotta be careful not to hit the building. That might be a bad thing. Right there. Ta da! I said, ta da! All right. We've got our paperwork. We have our paperwork, and it's, the guy told me that it's in spot 332 against the fence over here. Twenty six, ninety five, thirty eight. Could be it, no. Nope. Gonna be one of these, I bet. I bet, 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 maybe not. Gotta be this one. No! This one! No. That's because there's spot two, three, three. I guarantee it's this one. 26, 95, 38, bingo, bingo is his name. Chicka chicka boom, chicka chicka boom. Yeah, when I came in here, it was pretty strict instructions. You gotta slide your tandems all the way over here. This one's not slid, that one's not slid. Come on! There is no seal. Huh. Maybe it's inside. There you go, somebody asked, I can't remember the subscriber's name, it was just today I saw when I woke up. Somebody asked to see inside of the trailer. Um, and I told him, you know, yeah, I did that video, it's like video number 80 where I did like a little walk around inside of an empty container. Um, and he came back and he sent me a message back today and he said, no, no, I'm, um, when, they're, when they're loaded. I know, I'm rambling, I'm sorry. Um, he wanted to see inside of a loaded trailer. I usually do not get that opportunity because they're usually sealed when I pick them up. I go in and the loads are always loaded up and they're sealed. So, I guess you got the opportunity. Because I guess I'm supposed to seal it. Which does not happen very much. Seal matches. And then somebody else asked um, about uh, Load locks, don't you put load locks in your loads? We do not. 
<clears throat> um, if I put load locks in here, because I take this trailer down and I drop it off at the rail yard, and then it's gone. So then my load locks will be gone. So, I mean, I do two to three loads a night. So if you put two load locks in each load, let's say, I mean, that's what? Could be six load locks a night that I'd have to carry. If you got five days, that's 30 load locks I'd have to carry in a week. Because <laughs> I won't get them back. You know? So, what do we got here anyways? Looks like it's, um... Looks like some kind of mosquito. Looks like off. It's like display. Yeah, it is. It's off. It's like a whole display thing or something. Protect your family and shoppers against mosquitoes. Oh no! Mosquitoes. There you go. Hang on, see inside one. You can see how they put those air bags in there. You can see how they put these bags in here. And what they do is they have a, a thing up on the top of them. It's like a little air valve and they have an air compressor in the dock. And they put the load, they put the pallets in there. They put those bags in there and then they pump air up into them and it pushes them to the side and it, that's what keeps the stable. It's the shipper's responsibility to stabilize the load, not ours. Not like other trucking companies when you go in there and stuff, you know, you gotta put a load lock in there. And, if it tips over or something like that, then it's, you know, your problem. And here it's the shipper's deal it's supposed to do. There we go. We're all sealed up. We got the auto fill, we got our spring. Well, I got 20,000 pounds, I think it said on it, so not too worried about weight. And there we go. So there we go. Just got set on my loader call. This is going to Fairburn, Georgia. Quiet, choo choo train. Um, seal number oh, the train's right behind me. It was preloaded, brought in a trailer. Quantity. I hate these carbon paper things. 728. They have it as 788. Twenty twenty yep, their weight was okay though. Chassis one and five and a six. One and a seven and a two. Estimated time availability. Give me about two hours. Uh, let's just make it ten. Don't really matter. I got pre plans and everything, so. We'll just set up for 10 p.m. I don't know. Nine hours. How's that? And send. Okay then. So we are loaded. Oh man, my truck just shut off. Um, I know what you guys are gonna ask. Mileage. I forgot mileage again this morning. I know. I was gonna say someone I woke up to, but I forgot. I am at sixteen ninety nine right now. I did not have a great night last night. Um. I um. Got help, held up a little bit here and there, and then um, I made a pit stop. Um, I made a pit stop at Walmart, bought that t-shirt, and messed around there doing that. And then um, I had to go hunt for a trailer, so my clock caught up to me. So I could have got this load this morning, but 
I didn't know. I couldn't remember if I ever been in a place and didn't know what it was going to be like. So blah, blah, blah. I just decided to shut it down. So, but, um, so I didn't have the greatest. So it was 850 and 8, or 5, 580 and 598. So we can just subtract 2, subtract 22, 6, 12. So if we take 12 from that, it should be 499 plus 22. So it was only like 5. I only did like 520 or 530, somewhere around there. I'm lost on my, on my, on my numbers. That's too much math. Come on. But so far this week, 1699. Let's see if we can uh, make that like 20, 21 something tonight. We are loaded. We are checked out. He says, good to go, buddy. Buddy. And we're rolling. I got I got some issue though. My pants are falling down. And I'm not making a joke about John either. <laughs> My um, my dang pants are just falling down. I gotta keep. I gotta like when I walk, I'm having to hold my pants up. I lost um about twenty some pounds, like right before I started this YouTube channel. I was actually trying to lose some weight, and so I've been I've been kind of trying to do more activities and trying to eat better and stuff. And I've lost like 20 some pounds and um, I've lost a few pounds here and there and stuff, but just last week, I've actually lost really good. I mean like 10 pounds in like this last week and a half or so. So my pants are falling down. And I actually, last week I kind of noticed that my pants are getting pretty loose and stuff. And I got bunches of belts at the house. And I was gonna, I was, I was leaving. I was gonna grab a belt and bring me a, bring a belt with me. But I didn't. So now I got an issue. My pants are falling down, and I'm thinking duct tape. That might be the fix. And get me some duct tape. Make me a temporary belt. <laughs> Since I am the duct tape, duct tape king. We'll see you guys down at NS Stony. See ya. Well, hello, hello. Welcome to NS Stony Isle. Otherwise known as Calumet. Calumet. I sighted. I sighted, I sighted Calumet. Nobody at the gates. We're going to be utilizing our NS app.
spot right there, but it's right across from that guy, and I don't want to be blocking him. So. <clears throat> oh, here's this spot. Let's put her in here. Got this telephone pole to deal with, but that's all right. We can deal with a telephone pole or two. I guess you didn't want to. I was going to let the yard guy go. Bugger dad up. I dung on bugger dad up. Boogers to Betsy. <laughs> I love that commercial. Here we go. That's much better. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Almost. Right there. All right. Another load delivered. Heading to Georgia to battle all those mosquitoes. Wow. What an idiot. That guy was truly an idiot. He came flying around that corner and locked up his brakes. Well, now they have me going to BNSF Cicero to grab an empty. Well, here we are, people. BNSF Cicero with the bumpy driveway. Am I a customer? Because this said customer only. I don't believe I'm a customer. I don't know if they serve me here or what. I'm coming in over here, but. Probably gonna have to go on the other side to get an empty. That's where they usually put them. I guess their printer is down, so she was not able to print me out a list, location list of empties. So she took my phone and she took a picture of her screen, a bunch of locations, and it looks like it starts in the two and three hundred range in E here, so this is E lot right here. It don't matter to me what, looks like a lot of the empties are 22 numbers, which means they're the older fiberglass ones. I don't really care. It don't bother me nothing at all. Let's see, 161 is, let's go to 200. 
after like two of them at 131, 161, but there seems to be a bunch in the 220 range. 220, 230. What do we got here? This is uh, 175. That's two. Yeah, let's go this way. Okay, so down on the ground, there's numbers. You guys are not going to be able to see them. Because I can barely see them. So, 185. We're going to 201. Two oh one. Twenty six fourteen ten. Works for me. Not too jabby, first one. So now we are deadheading to Nina. Uh, we're deadheading to Nina. If it seems like I'm distracted, I kind of am. Um, I got things on my mind. I uh, got a phone call today, and um, that guy that's trying that was trying to get me to come work for him. I had you know talked to him about it and everything else, and now he's he's called me back, and he's like, you know, hey, um, how about if I pay your insurance? Hmm. It makes it a really tough decision. It really does. I'm still going to be making, you know, like $600 less a week. But I could go out at night and run some runs, you know. It's just a lot of thinking. You know, and I'm like, you know, hey, you could go out and find anybody. This is not difficult stuff. This is trailer repair. I mean, this is, you know, this is nothing. I mean, when somebody starts, you know, like as a mechanic wants to be a mechanic, I mean, and they get a job, you know, working in a shop, this is a, this is what they put them on. They put them on trailer stuff, you know, changing tires, lights, you know, a little welding maybe here and there or something, you know. This is, this is a simple stuff. You know, you can find anybody. But as, you know, he was like, yeah, I could. He goes, but, you know, I kind of want somebody I could just put on it and trust that they're going to get it done and do it right. Um, like I've said, I've worked for this guy before. And um, he's a really nice guy. And he's, he's um, I consider him a friend. Um, so it's, it's a little difficult. It's just, you know, I don't know. You know, and I told him, I said, it's still that thing, of, you know, I'm not making enough money. And he said, well... All right, and he said, "Well, let me talk to the company and see exactly how much, how many trailers they're looking at, what kind of work it's going to be, what kind of money can be made." He goes, "Maybe I could do more." So, so I'm a little distracted about it. So that's why I'm a little distracted tonight. But we're still rolling. I can't I can't sit down and look at a wall and think all night long. I got to do my job. So we're heading up to Nina. We are released, ready to go. And right here is your exit.
So, I hope everyone is having a great day, great evening, whatever it is for you out there. If you're not, hey, we can certainly try that again tomorrow. And I shall talk to you guys later. See ya.